gamble. We ain't never missing that. Yep. It don't matter how many days we're going. We got it, dude. It don't matter how many weeks we take off. Because we're on the way out now. We ain't never missing that ramble cue, baby. Uh, anything else to say about this one? How'd you feel? Um, I felt really good about it. I really did like it. Uh, it did give me a good swerve at the end that oh, I yeah? didn't see. You know, I should have known. Maybe I missed a piece of dialogue that I, that I needed to get. I'm not sure. Hmm. Um, I did get a new TV, so I was fidgeting with settings here and there ah, to, okay. to dial everything in. Got that big Samsung. But I noticed that throughout the movies, he was packing things up in his room. Yeah, they were moving the whole time. Yeah, but I didn't realize. He's never got it? I, I didn't get it. So whenever he told her, it was like he told me too. And I was like, oh, that broke oh. your heart. It broke your little heart. I was like, dicks. Nah. Dicks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I caught it earlier. I think the first time we see him like put some books. Did they in the, ever like say he, it? He, he you puts. Know? There's the first time we see him with one of those boxes, and they're all the same yeah, boxes. Yeah, packing. From up, I remember he's packing one of the. Little yeah, he puts books in like some uh, some of those darumas or whatever they're yeah. called in the thing, and he's like, his dad just got home from work, I guess, and he's like, is it cool if I put this over there? And he's like, yeah, sure. And then I think his mom says something like, well, we're not moving for another few weeks or something mm. like that. So yeah, I I knew it was coming. Yeah. Um, the moments that got me, there were two spoilers. Obviously, this is where we get spoilery. Um, is Dicks. There was mm-hmm. one where uh, they finally find this goddamn record, and yes. he's outside uh, of the record store getting a cable so they can hook up the record player, and she has the record out of the sleeve and walks outside with it, holding it like it's a goddamn steering wheel. Yes. And they're like talking for a bit and like. I'm me and Haley are sitting there like just writhing on the bed watching this like oh no they're gonna break it she's gonna break it oh she's gonna she's gonna get too close to him oh he's gonna hug her oh she's gonna drop it and she's like holding it in front of her because like eh, she's so excited about this thing she's like holding it like it's a stuffed animal like a pillow you bury your face in it and we're like oh she's gonna drop it oh it's gonna happen and there's a bit where like she spins it around to look at the other side and like oh, she's gonna... and she doesn't and then she looks at it and says oh it's kind of warped let yeah. just put this down on the patio and see if I can press it yeah, flat. Yeah, so it was a good, that was actually a good Jesus moment, Christ. too. Jesus Christ. Because I thought, I was thinking that she was going to break it the whole time. Yeah. And then she flips it around, and it's warped, and she's like, oh my God, will it still play like that? And so, it for a like, moment oh. in my mind, I was like. She's not going to break it, it's just warped. Yeah, it's not going to play right. Ha ha, swerved you, gotcha. Because I have some warped vinyls, and it does fuck up a good bit. Crunch! Yeah, and then she starts squishing it down. God I'm damn like, girl, it. no, please, girl, no. You fool. Smile. Uh, Smile, no. And then, also, huge spoilers. Right after that, there's a scene with them in the goddamn retirement center where they hang out, and she they're both volunteering now, and you see a clock on the wall that is clearly the backside of that record because it's a, it's a picture disc, that has a picture of the artist on one side and like the the fireworks of the big festival on the other. And it is clearly the fireworks of the big festival. And me and Haley are just like, no one's looking at the clock. And then I, I finally I, realize it later. Next time I, I give this movie a go, I'm definitely going to try and Check remember Check and see to, if they, if they yeah, show it before that. See how many times that. they put it in focus before it. Yeah. It's never like in focus until like they actually realize okay. what it is, finally. But like the whole time we're just like, like when she was gluing it together, you're like, oh, she's gonna glue it together. Oh, maybe she'll make a clock. You That'd know, be pretty cool. It all it it might have been amazing if they would have showed it and just never followed through on it. Holy that would just left it up there. Dog, just give me the anime blue balls for the yeah, rest of my life. And then Mr. Fujiyama just croaks. And then he just died. <laughs> no! Not grandpa! <laughs> Not grandpa! <laughs> but yeah, man, cute movie. Uh, it's a really cute movie. It had a really, I really love the ending where homie like comes out of his cage and he's doing just fine. And he finally yeah. like confesses everything and says it all um, he, by using his own words, his haikus. He recites them uh, before that, where like they start playing the song. I love your buck teeth. I love those big ass teeth. <laughs> I feel like that could make uh, it more embarrassing. She got that one, I love your buck teeth. I love the way I, I told you. I love the way they draw it too, because like the art style is so simplistic that they don't have the line in the teeth. It looks like she just got one fat ass tooth in the yeah. front. And, and uh, when she's further so away, cute. they just give her a big round tooth. Yeah, just I one love it. big ass tooth. She's it's like that more Pico tooth, that new Pokemon, the hangry type. Yeah, Pokemon. the little hungry baby. He's got a big tooth in the middle. Yeah, it's very cute. All right. 
Uh, I think we're good on that one. <laughs> Do yeah. you got anything else to say about it? No, nah, man. Cute movie. Watch right. it. Give it, it was give really it a go. cute. It was and really actually, good. Actually, it's not very long, too. No, it's You're not going to be there. It's about it's uh, like an hour 90 and a half. minutes. Yeah. It's like 127, I think. Yeah, yeah right at an hour you, and a half. You're not going to be sweating it. It's good. Super cute. Good music. Good, really cool colors and visuals. Movie kicks ass. Yeah. Uh, Roger, I have a question that burns within yes, my very sir. soul, and I must know the answer to it. What have you been watching? Oh my god, dude! Not a whole hell of a lot, I venture. Um, I caught up this week on a couple of things that I definitely, you know, have been wanting to watch. Um, everything took me so long to get back into place to mm -hmm. really have time to watch anime. I was at a point where I was falling asleep at eight thirty. You know, I was coming home. And I was taking my shoes off, and I was eating something, and then I was asleep. Hell yeah. And then I was up at, you know, 5 in the morning to, to get ready to go into work. Um, and, I, and I'll get more of that later. But um, I watched, this week, I did all my catching up. I did I did watch a couple episodes here and there. Uh, we are a couple episodes back, behind on My Hero Academia, but Kat and I are still watching it. Um, now things are starting to happen. Uh, we're in the the my villain academia arc. I don't yeah, know if you got there yet. Fully not caught up on okay, any. Okay, I will it. say any more. of it. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's it's pretty fun. It's still my hero academia is doing a good job of hanging on because I already appreciate the show. If this is what the show started out as, I probably would not like it as much as I did. Okay, because the first three seasons are so damn exciting. The fourth season kind of teeters off, and this season teeters on and off. But right now, it's it's kind of back on, and it's a little different. Obviously, by that title, there's a little little switcheroo there, but it is uh it's still fun. Uh, what is amazing is, and maybe you'll want to talk about this one a little bit too, is Sunny Boy. Sunny Boy kicks. Now ass. I haven't seen this week's episode. I am all the way caught up. Um, I've seen up to episode nine. Episode ten aired a couple days ago. Sunny Boy is so fucking weird. It is so weird and yeah, dude. I'm. I'll be honest with you. I have no fucking clue what is happening in this. Yeah. Aside from the things that you want, they want you to know. Which yeah. often this show feels like. Hey, each episode they're connected, but don't focus on the connection of the yeah. episodes. Well, so focus on what this episode is really about. Right. That's the thing. Is it feels like. Oh, excuse me. I'm yawning. I'm sorry. Um. So like up to episode six. Yeah. It was like, here's these characters, here is their conflict, figuring out what's happening. And about episode six, there's a breaking point. And after that, it goes into this thing where, like, kind of the characters are split up. They mm -hmm. are moving not just in this world, but between this world's. Mm -hmm. um, and it goes from being, like, a story about these characters to it kind of... And this is not... A comparison that is going to make a lot of fucking sense but um if you've ever seen like saw or final destination where it feels like yeah. somebody just thought of a bunch of crazy ways to die and kind of made a movie around them yeah. that's kind of what it's turned into in these last few episodes where it has now become this story about these individual characters and they're all kids and they're all stuck in these in this life that they're in um but you're seeing what if they couldn't die and they were in these crazy different mm -hmm. worlds and they had superpowers? How would a kid deal with unrequited love? How would a kid deal with dealing with a bully or something like yeah. that? It's all these different little things. Yeah. That like are these, yeah, these like regular ass stories made psychedelic and unknowable. Yeah. Um, it's like it's and it like, kicks ass. It's like if Fooly Cooly had a baby with Lord of the Flies. A little bit, yeah, a little bit. It's, Particularly it's that kind that of first fucking half for amazing. Sure. Yeah. yeah, it's wild, and the music kicks ass. I don't. I'm not. I will not spoil anything from the newest episode, but there is an extended song in there, and it kicks ass. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna cum yourself. Oh, I'm I'm gonna I'm already jizzing myself just thinking about it. Yeah, even even the the so this show does not have an opening. No, it just has. It the just outro. goes in, which really works boy, because it that gives that outro them, fucking slaps. The outro kicks ass, and the not having an intro really works for them because they just they save a minute and a half of just extra bullshit yep. they get to do. They, yeah, it's they, really good. They, they tell you they add to the story immediately, which yeah. 
like I said, you're just, you kind of like, at least, yeah, after that six mark, even in the first episode, it has its themes. Yeah. And it's like the show really wants you to focus on that and not the larger picture. Yeah. And I don't know if they're going to tie the larger picture together or if it's going to be something kind of avant-garde. Uh, whatever it is, dude, I'm fucking here for it. Yeah. The, I love Sunny Boy. The show itself is avant-garde as fuck. It's absolutely like some kind of weird-ass art anime. Like, you could just take bits of this where, like, talking, talking, explaining what's happening, this thing's going on, weird stuff's happening, and then it's just a shot of this person standing in this new world that hasn't existed where everything's made out of stained glass and there's just big-ass whales flying. And I'm like, that's a poster. Put that shit on my wall. It's yeah. beautiful. Like... It does that kind of stuff. Yeah, and it's got uh, a, a, a decent amount of uh, diversity in here, too, like among yeah. the characters. Yeah, man. Um, that's one thing that I thought was interesting. I saw I was kind of doing a little bit of Googling earlier to try and figure out, um, like, hang on, let me find this. Uh... The animation also reminds me a whole lot of Devilman Crybaby. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. really, like, uh, kind of. The characters uh, are kind of pointy like that, too. Yeah, kind of like simplistic and whatnot. Uh, so there's a guy in here uh, who is like, he's like an Indian character. His name is... Uh, uh, Rajatani, Raj I think. Ra Rajdani. 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 And Rajdani kicks ass. Um, but I was kind of doing a little Googling, and there was a thing in there where like somebody was talking about how they were bummed out like at, at being of an Indian culture. They were kind of bummed out about his name because it just sounded like the name Rajdani is not a name. Mm -hmm. It's a word that like would mean this or that, but you would never name someone that. The only thing named that is there's like a train named that or a train station or something, which is when suddenly a bunch of people were posting and realizing, dude, everyone's named after trains. That's like part of it. So like there is a um, Nozomi train line or something. It's like a bullet train or something. Mm -hmm. And there's this other train and this train is like really wild. So there's like, it's like this whole little mystery box where everything's kind of like twisting and turning. And there's things that may mean something and may mean nothing. But I like, I said when, like after that first episode, this is the show that like years from now we'll still be looking at and picking apart. Yeah. Um, and it kicks ass. Yeah. Like it, I will I will admit there are other shows this season that I am maybe more excited to watch um or that I'll be watching and like have a reaction I will laugh out loud at I will I will be like whoa can't believe that happened kind of stuff. Nothing really shocks me in this show because everything's so shocking is yeah. the thing. Um but it's I don't want it to stop. I just want to keep yeah. watching and I'm seeing I'm going to be sad happens. when the season is over because yeah. I am, It's wild. I'm in love with this show, it's man. A it's a really wild cool. fucking yeah. show. Uh, and it kicks a little ass, and I love it. Um, the uh, Yeah. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Okay. Uh, the final thing that I've been watching is I've caught up, except for the newest episode that came out yesterday, I think, of mm -hmm. When They Cry. Yeah, you have. Um, damn, this show is fucking good. <laughs> damn. Damn. And they... What I like about this show is that they brought in this whole new season. They swerved you and made it a continuation, mm -hmm. but they actually did put a whole lot of thought into it. It doesn't feel like a, a... I mean, I don't know that When They Cry would be a cash grab because I don't know that it makes that much cash. Yeah. I think it does have a following and people will pay for it, but um, it really feels like the, the, you know, the writers did love this property and they really thought out a cool story. Mm. It's very clever. Uh, now we're so we're now getting the all of the answers and seeing what happened in the gaps of the the first season. I don't know how many episodes this one's going to be, but we I can feel it getting close to finally having a, f a fulfilling uh, conclusion. And then they'll do a movie, and then they'll do another movie. Hey man, I'm here for it. If they keep this up, I'll watch it. They pull an Evangelion they put it up. And yeah. just just eventually get it's, like eight. Minutes. Dude, it's so good, man, and it's so. Uh, they definitely cranked up the, uh, I would say they cranked down the spookiness of the show, but the violence of the show up. Mm -hmm. And there, I mean, the swerve is really good. It's just really good. I did not see it coming and it is completely warped a character. Uh, um, wild. and it even like does a redemption arc for a character that was in other arcs, a child abuser and Jesus. somehow they make you feel bad for this motherfucker. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's it works. I would in, have to. I'd, yeah, yeah. It works in loops. So, with the right treatment, he goes essentially. It's a different path. 
like it's a it's an elsewhere's version yeah. of this guy. Yeah, he's yeah. taking another route. Gotcha. He has Wild. you know, he's received some love from a character and that has changed his entire outlook. And how what path he went down on, and then he gets stabbed in the throat over and over again. Mm. Yeah, maybe mm. <laughs> it um, is when they cry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I mean, like I said, they do a good job of making you really feel like, oh, oh dicks. And there's actually a cool split at that. I can't say much more than a split, but it's like you know this character has a breakdown into two personalities. Oh Jesus! All it's right. dude, it's intense, man, and it. Mm, mm, God damn! <laughs> Can't be that good. It's a spicy meatball. It's a spicy boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a spicy pepper. <laughs> you fucking dork. Uh, I That's love really it, dude. Good. I'm I'm so stoked, and it's been so good to finally have the time to catch up on some of this shit. Yeah, again, that's because a... I was missing out. Mm. Yeah, man. That is again a series I have little to no involvement in, but uh, I can I just. I know you only get hyped when it's that good, so yeah. it must be that good. It's that good, dude. All right, man. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yep. Uh, but uh, that's it for me. That's all I've managed to catch up on thus far. Uh, obviously, I'm going to keep going and trying to truck through and get some more stuff down. Uh, I did watch some Mob Psycho as well. Uh, I'm about halfway through with the first season. Nice, dude. It's a good show. Makes me feel good. Love Mob Psycho. Brandon, what have you been watching, sir? Uh, Sunny Boy, we already mm -hmm. talked about. Uh, let's see. So I did do three episodes of Edits and Deities, No Only Peace, and I don't really want to watch any more of that show. It's it's got some cool art and animation. I really do. Yeah, love man. What fell off from the last time we recorded? I love those colors and everything in that show, but that's the one that, like, I told you, the end of that first episode involved a straight up sexual assault scene, and I did not care for it. Um, and then that. Seems to be just a thing that happened. Uh, the next episode also had some weird sexually charged things that I was not comfortable with. Uh, and then episode three was kind of just a big fight, which was cool. But I saw that other stuff and I was like, yeah, I think I'm good. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm dropping that one. Uh, I did watch one, count them, one episode of the J great jaw he will not be defeated so i need to watch a couple more of that one at least that is one that like one of those that we did not get to because it wasn't out when we did our tier list thing um a lot of folks like this show our our homie josh uh is talking about it on the discord uh i got i gotta watch a couple more of that one but uh yeah the first episode is fine pretty cute it's fine um Let's see. I still have not watched any of Fina Pri Pirate Princess yet. That is another one that we didn't get to on the uh, tier list. Cause was, it was that a Netflix time. one or was it coming out? That's a Crunchyroll like... original that is also airing on Toonami. Okay. Yeah. And that is one that I... It's probably good then. It looks pretty sweet. I just haven't had the chance to get to it yet. Um, so I'm planning on... I'm probably going to try to watch like all of that one. Because, well, we'll give it three, obviously, and see where, how I feel. But that was one that just looking at the art and stuff beforehand, I thought looked really cool. And now it's actually out and like up to episode like five or six or seven or something. And I definitely want to check it out. What else? Um, so there's quite a few things that I fully just fell off of. The only ones I'm really still keeping up on are... Previously mentioned Sunny Boy. Um, I think I'm good on the vampire show the name of which i can't remember so damn sucks to suck uh <laughs> i'm still on kageki shoujo i'm not fully caught up on that one yet uh that show is just kind of cute and kind of fun and i really i enjoy it it's really interesting seeing these girls like you know they're doing their uh school thing with the with the training and whatnot and learning how to act and sing and everything you get a lot of backstory with uh sarasa the tall girl so her whole thing they kind of implied in like episode one that she knows or has a somewhat of a history in the kabuki theater and there's a bit in here where they are gonna do a scene from romeo and juliet and she's gonna be tybalt and she uh when they're reading through the lines cannot get it at all she sounds like she's like really suffering trying to figure out like how to say these lines and how to perform this but then she gets a dvd of an older performance from the school like from the actual troupe that like graduating class or whatever who was part of the actual troupe and performed tybalt and she watches her do it and then they do the scene and she absolutely kicks ass she does it perfectly she does it too perfectly 
she is not doing it herself she is copying and that's what the teacher tells her she's like he's like straight up hey that's amazing but you're not doing tibble you're doing this person's tibbled you are never going to be a star if you just copy someone else's work they don't want to see someone else's work they want to see your work and you find out why she's like that why she copied it so well is because in kabuki theater the tradition is you do it exactly the same as the last person so that you are seeing the same performance from all those hundreds of years ago that's the thing and that is how she was raised and she was told that even when she was even then she kicks ass at kabuki she's got perfect balance perfect poise everything even as a young child she was the best at it but she's a girl so she can't be the star mm -hmm. and in fact it's implied that you know it's a whole thing where like these families run these theaters they're the big stars i thought that kabuki now you could it, it was open to females so this, it, there's like certain roles and stuff i don't know all the details i know in this one the whole thing is that she is may or may not actually be like the love child of the big star and it's like you know he, everybody's waiting for him to have a male successor basically and she's a girl so it can't be her so it ends up being this other guy and he that guy who is actually dating her now they they became very close as children the guy who is the next big star in kabuki um he's like he actually overhears people when he was younger talking and saying man if she had been born a boy she would absolutely be the star so now he's got a little complex it's all these different people like trying to be their own person and just being forced to react to their parents and the adults around them and it's a very very good story uh kageki shoujo kicks ass is what i'm saying um the only other thing i'm really really keeping up on is remain which any is any girlfriend girlfriend i have not watched any more okay. girlfriend. i told you i was dropping that one after like episode okay. three or you, four so you did it drop it i dropped it yeah i haven't watched any more of it maybe i'll watch some more of it later i haven't okay. watched any more of it but uh remain uh is the water polo anime yeah. Man, oh man! I How really do you like my swimming. I, I I enjoy this show. I like this show a lot. They do a thing. <laughs> they the show's bonkers and it's very fun. And there's moments where I'm like, haha, that's hilarious, and I'm laughing out loud and I'm reacting to the thing. I'm like actually like feeling an emotional connection to the show. And it does a thing where like you know the guy has amnesia. He doesn't remember being the world champion or whatever. And he see he actually has a line where he says, you know, in the dramas and stuff. The doctor said it wouldn't happen, but in those TV dramas, whenever a person has amnesia, they get their memories back, and they forget all their new memories. And I don't want to forget you guys. <laughs> and then he sees a video of himself when he was, like, training, like, when he, from those three years, he doesn't remember when he was world champion. He was a huge fucking dick. He was, like, telling people, you're not even trying out there. He's like cutting people off so he's the only one getting any points because they can't fucking hang. He was the egotistical star. He was the fucking ace, the rock of this goddamn team. And he knew it and he knew he was the one that was handling it and he's doing it his goddamn self. And he's like freaked out by that. And then he ends up like talking to someone else uh, and they tell him like, yeah, that's how you were, dude. And he gets all his memories back and then he's riding his bike home and he just kind of falls over in the rain and bumps his head and wouldn't you goddamn know it he got all his memories back but forgot the new memories and now he's just an asshole uh because he's like what the hell uh, why am i on this shitty team like that kind of thing and it's it's a real fucking oh damn they really did just jump the shark and it's a little bit goofy <laughs> as hell but the one it's it's real silly but it works because the dude who's doing the performance, you're hearing him switch between those two personalities and he plays them both very goddamn well. That voice actor, if he is not at least nominated for best male performance at the fucking anime awards, it's a goddamn crime because he's kicking ass on this one. And then like there's a bit where like when he was still like nice boy version uh, in his new memories, he recorded a little video that was like, if if this ends up happening, I hope you don't forget about these guys. They sure are cool. And like he's telling about them. So like, it seems like they're going to still try and do the thing. And now he's got a rival because the dude who was on his old team, the world, the like Japan championship team, uh, he's the new ace now. And turns out the coach is a jackass who was like, 
he told him you got to be kind of an asshole because that's how it works you got to have the team has yeah. to have someone to rally around so now he this new guy is the one they're rallying around and he's the asshole and so now they're rivals it's a whole thing <clears throat> Uh, the show's fun. It's goofy as hell, and it's a lot of fun. And I really enjoy that show. Remain, it kind of kicks ass. Um, it's definitely my favorite sports anime I've seen this year. So there you go. Um, and I'm not huge on sports anime, so that's not saying a ton. But I like it. Uh, then again, I've never watched any of Haikyuu, and everybody says Haikyuu is the best. So I guess I got to watch Haikyuu. But yeah, uh, that's basically it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, um, I got to tell you. I caught up on all those just in the past few days because when we were taking this little hiatus, oh, I didn't watch Jack. Shit. And like me and you, we work a lot. Mm -hmm. We talk about it. We do a lot of work. That's our thing. Yeah, I work more now. Yeah, you work more now. I'm the manager boy. We're both we're both just up there constantly doing shit. Uh, but it kind of it was a little bit fun for me to just kind of take a, like two or three weeks where I was just like, I don't, I'm not, not that I don't want to watch anime, not that I don't enjoy these stories and shows, but like having a break and just like, sometimes it feels like homework is what I'm saying. Yeah, sure. You know, keeping up with the stuff. Mm -hmm. And it was pretty fun to you just keep up with so much too. Play a goddamn I've, video I've, game or something. I've long given up on keeping up with so much. Yeah. That's why I like, the beginning of the month is the, of, of the season is the fucking worst because I'm watching literally yeah, like three you episodes committed of to something crazy. I'm a fool. <laughs> I am a fool. And you know what? And I it's coming it. up. <laughs> you know, the only one that still hasn't dropped is Megaton Musashi. And I don't know if that's ever coming now, but I guess it's going to happen eventually. That's the one that you said had a cool name anyway. Yeah. Megaton Musashi. I think it's like a tie-in for a Switch game. So I don't know. We'll mm, figure it out. Mm. But uh, yeah, man, I've been playing a lot of video games. Ya boy. Fucking got one, kids. I got one. Oh, shit. You did get one, didn't you? I got it. I got a damn email from Sony that was like, hey, man, PlayStation Plus boy. Um, listen, don't tell nobody else. This link is just for you. But you click on this at about 12 o'clock PST on Monday <laughs> and log in with your PlayStation Plus account we'll sell you this PlayStation 5. And I was like, yeah, you will. <laughs> Free two-day shipping? It got here in one day? I'll be goddamn. <laughs> so your boy got a PlayStation 5, and I'm feeling good about it. I know, like, oh, I'm I'm a regular Sony pony. I just love, I love my Sony. And I got one, and I and my girlfriend bought me a copy of Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> I can't oh, nice. wait to get home and play that. I got me, I got me, uh, I got mine a while back, but I got me one of those tiny Xboxes. I yeah, still do want that Xbox. PS5. I do like that tiny Xbox, man. I use it a lot, and I'm ready for that Halo to come out, baby. I, see, I fucked up when I got Haley uh, playing Skyrim, because now she's like, oh, when's the next uh, Elder Scrolls coming out? I was like, oh, probably another like couple years, I would think. Hey, but apparently, be on the PlayStation. apparently it's going to be a Xbox exclusive, because Microsoft went and bought the entirety of Bethany Esda, and she was like, I guess, sure? we gotta, guess we got a good goddamn Xbox. I was like, fuck, we got a good goddamn Xbox. I do like that. <laughs> I mean, get the tiny Xbox. You can play it day one. You get the Game Pass for $15 a month. You'll be able to play that shit day one. Baby, I'm Both out free. of HDMIs. I don't have any more. It comes with an <laughs> HDMI, no, baby. No, I mean, I mean plugs on my TV. Oh, dude, just put it on whichever <laughs> console you use the least and just switch the HDMI between yeah, the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, well. Yeah, but. Man, uh, we watched that AEW, didn't we? Oh, we did. Yeah, that was fun. Damn, we, yeah, we, they had a pay-per-view. They had the all. That's the only thing that I've up. watched through the entirety of this entire nightmare that I've been going through was we, AEW. Yeah, man. We got to hang out for a little bit, actually watch the pay-per-view together. It was pretty cool. I can't believe they put that Big Show match on so late in the goddamn yeah. car. Yeah, you would have think that you, you would have <laughs> think shit. You would have thought that Cum Punk would have been later. You think Cum Punk would have been later. Yeah. yeah, good old Cum Punk. God damn it. <laughs> uh, I hate that that's what we call him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But yes, uh, we saw the cum punk. We saw him fight the Darby Allen. Yeah. Uh, I lost a bet because I thought maybe he'd put over the boy, but no, it's cum punk's first match back. He's got to win it. You're yeah, right. Yeah. You were always right. <laughs> um, and I ended up having to buy Roger a pack of Pokemon cards, and I bought myself one, and neither of them had anything good. Yeah, so they I were gave both him garbage. Both <laughs> garbage. But yeah, um, it was a good old time. We got to watch some wrestling and watch a little wrestling. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. 
It was fun. But um, I guess I'll, I will give you guys a brief rundown of where I have been, yeah, where we it. have been. Tell the, tell, um, the, tell the kids. If you want to get the full thing, go to Discord. I'm not going to do this one. I'm not going to be tossing any shade to anybody. Because uh, there is shade to be tossed in this story. But uh, hon, hon, hon. I will not be tossing it. Um, so, uh, last time that we spoke, we talked on the ramble. I had the... Uh, the convention coming up, the uh, comic convention, the local one for, for Bell County here in Texas. Um, I spent an entire week pretty much by myself, setting up, getting packed, getting us ready to get there. I take the time. We get another guy to help. All of our help falls through, too. So at one point, it's just me and my boss. Mm-hmm. I managed to get another customer that kind of helps us with events here and there on board to do it with us. And uh, we drove up on that Friday. We knocked it out. We got everything set up. Sorry, that Thursday we got everything set up. Uh, Friday we finished. Thursday, uh, Saturday and Sunday wore the convention. The convention was a lot of fun. But boy, was it draining. It was Roger real tired. Sleepy, babe. Well, it didn't really matter that Roger was so tired because the next week we had to get ready for free comic book day, which is one of the biggest days. When you work at a damn comic book store, because you're giving away 200 free books. Uh, uh, because there was a pandemic last year. There's still a pandemic, but it was uh, more restricted last year. So we had last year's books and this year's books, plus some special books. There were like 200 fucking books um, to stamp way too many boxes of. Um, I had people stamping on those for a month before they were finished. You sh- so I spend pretty much the entire next week preparing and planning exactly what we do for Free Comic Book Day to make it safe and smooth. Because safety was paramount. Because, A, we're in the Texas heat. Yeah. This is going to be outside because we're in the middle of a pandemic. Mm-hmm. The heat is bad here. We're on a big asphalt parking lot. I didn't want Grandma and Grandma or Grandma and Grandpa to fucking Mr. Fujiyama to croak on the pavement over there <laughs> before he got or, to listen or fall to his down record. and sizzle for a little bit. Oh lord! I did not want that on our hands, so I was. What like, you have? Fans and spritzers. Uh, we had cooling stations, water stations, and we kept the activities to just the books and a sidewalk cell. Very good. Where you could go and buy stuff at a discount. Check out these cool figures. You want this yeah. big ass Joker? <laughs> yeah. No one wants um, that big ass Joker. And wouldn't you know it? We uh, we get there very early for Free Comic Book Day, and then about at 4 p.m. or so that day, I've been walking around in the heat all damn day, and this big-ass, nice cold front comes in. Ooh. Oh, it's beautiful. Feels I'm good. just sitting there. I'm enjoying it. I'm not sweating anymore. But then all of a sudden, the cold front brings all the wind. Oh, no. And you know what happens when there's uh, heavy winds and a bunch of... Uh, probably 10,000 comic books sitting out on the table. The bitches start fluttering. The bitches start flying everywhere. Oh, God. And the, the winds were so heavy, they were blowing the toys from the sidewalk cell off. Jesus Christ, boy. Uh, so we had customers, we had staff, everybody scrambling to just get shit in the vans and stuff like that to try and save what we My could. My God, boy. Ended in an absolute disaster. My God. But that was the end of it, right? We were you good, think, right? You'd certainly we were good. think so. Like it was, it sucked, but we're done. Hi, we went home. Rog, hang on, here, Roger. What's what? What worse could happen? What what possibly could go wrong? What, what could go wrong? I was like, you know what? what it's gonna get worse. That week was gonna be my last Monday that I worked too, so I was gonna have two days off again. I was gonna work five days and have two days off like a normal damn. Human. I'm just a couple days away from retirement. <laughs> yeah. So what could have happened? <laughs> well, that one Sunday after Free Comic Book Day, which was on a Saturday, we were all gone. That cold front brought a storm with it. Mm-hmm. And it flooded our whole goddamn store. Again? Again. 100% <laughs> catastrophic flooding. Worse than before. Worse than it's ever been. The store was flooded from corner to corner to corner. The water was left. We didn't find it because it flooded on a day that we weren't there. To be clear, the store is a triangle, so that's corner to corner to corner. Yeah, Thank corner you. to corner, 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 corner. Oh, oh that's it's seven corners. Yeah, <laughs> lots of corners in this store. It's a heptagon. <laughs> it actually was three stores at one point. Yeah. So it all flooded. Carpet was all flooded, and it sat so long that it managed to wick in through the wood, damaged anything that was on a bottom shelf. Anything on the floor was gone. So many books. Um, I... 
I pride myself in my displays that I make in the store because mm-hmm. I can make some cool looking displays. Uh, and I had this giant tower in the corner. When you walk in, if you look to your right, there's this big tower of, of like statues and stuff like that mm-hmm. on top of these comic boxes. Oh, yeah. Well, those comic boxes weren't very strong, so whenever those collapsed, all of the towers fell. The whole thing. All the statues were in the water. Damn, boy. Um, so the next almost month, we worked on this for three weeks. I had to go up there on that Monday... I had to go up there to start assessing the damage and pulling stuff out, throwing all the damages out. And I'll just say, I went in there a couple of days, and uh, I caught the tail end of it because it was funky as hell, but it was not as bad as when, like, y'all first got there. It was rank, dude. Oh, man. It was They had the big ass, the floor fans going full blast. You couldn't talk over them. You couldn't talk to someone right next to you because the fans were so loud, and it still stank like a motherfucker. Yeah. And we were just having to sit and work in that. What could we fucking do? Baby boy. So we get all the product out that Monday. And now the next, we have a carpet crew that comes. They bring the floor fans and stuff. They start ripping up the carpet. Somehow, we were ripping up carpet as well. Whoops. So we spent, and on top of that, I have new hires in this. Okay, I have three new hires. By the end of this, I only have two new hires. Uh... (laughs) Because new hires come in on at minimum wage on a probational period in which we see how well they work before their pay gets adjusted and higher. Lord have mercy. So, all that shit happened. We're pulling up carpet. Dude, it's backbreaking work. We're getting up there every single morning by 8 in the morning to start ripping up carpet before not a single day where we closed either. Not a <laughs> single day where we closed. So, we were ripping up cus- uh, carpet when customers were coming in. Yep. We are cleaning up. Before, we were scraping glue off the, the concrete after the carpet was ripped up while customers were there. Dude, it was three weeks of back-breaking fucking work. And, and my boy was all out of muscle relaxers. Yeah, I was all out of muscle relaxers. <laughs> I ain't had them in a long time. Oh, no. And, so, and the new hires, you know, like, I'm trying to make sure everything is smooth for them because we actually have a really good couple of them mm-hmm. that I don't want to lose. Yep. And this situation is stressful. It stressed the boss out. Everybody's stressed to the max. Um, the hourly is obviously through the roof now because people we had to have so many people working. Not to mention how much it costs, you know, for the flood. So it's just a logistical nightmare, especially coming in. Like I'm in my first couple of months as manager here. I finally, I you know, the the last dude that did manager, Jeremy, great guy, my friend. Um, he's out of here. He's got a whole new career. Uh, doing Good for him. Yeah, yeah, great job, man. Um, he is appraising books and stuff. It's the honest step up from where we were, and he deserves it. So I took his spot, and damn, dude, has it been absolute hell. Sucks to suck, man. I'm sorry. It, yeah, it, it was terrible. Yeah. But needless to say, I was falling asleep very early. I couldn't stay up late to do the podcast. My I didn't have was, time to watch anything. My boy was coming home drifting off at like what seven yeah i there were every every week the the shortest amount of hours i worked in a week uh doing like ripping up carpet in this hard work was 55 hours that was the shortest baby boy now i finally got our schedules everything's kind of normalizing out we got a couple of great new hires um olivia is amazing yeah brandon is also fucking dope other brandon wrong brandon wrong brandon uh he's he's such a good guy he's enthusiastic Ready to do them sports cards. And hey, that's a man that I need at that job. Need need you some sports cards. Uh, <laughs> need me a sports card. <laughs> yeah. Olivia, she'd be loving her some Magic the Gathering. So guess what? She gets all them nerds that I had. She can have them. Hell yeah. Now I can get some damn work done. Uh, but hope that I am. Get to get the right kind of nerds because they're going to scare her off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, she, I think she already knows. All right. Uh, I was like, you're going to get fans. Whether you like it or not, you're going to get fans. And if any of them ever bother you, just let me know. I'll take care of them. We'll just kick them out. Uh, yeah. I'll put on the Pikachu outfit and just kick their ass. Yeah. So, oh, and on the top of that, we did have a breakthrough case at the store. We had a vaccinated co-worker get COVID. Damn, boy. So we're like, well, better slap these old masks on. Whoopsie And spoodle. what was even worse about that, too, is that I feel bad because I am, you know, I wear my mask. But I have to pull my mask down a whole lot because I'm in a very humid setting. Yeah. 
And you can't breathe good. I already cannot breathe well. There is glue dust flying all over the air. Yeah. So, you know, I put my mask on, I lose. I pull my mask off, I kind of lose. So I just fucking losing and huffing for air for days. You got to get you one of them like uh, Among Us looking like bubble. Yeah, I need just a full on bubble suit like Bubble Boy with the little arms. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, that, <laughs> I think Brent made that joke. We're just going to get you the damn bubble. Yeah, man. Because I mean, he you got could, immunities. You could, you could audibly, you, you could hear me breathing. Oh, baby it, boy. It was bad, and you know, now I've, I'm still kind of slacking on my mask whenever nobody's in the Listen, store. You just, you just go see I'm the doctor. Pull that shit on down. You go see the doctor every few months because if any of that, if any of that glue dust develops, you a case of mesothelioma. Yeah, we gonna get you paid. I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> fucking worried about it because I don't know how much that dust I sucked in. Oh, baby God, boy. how many of all of us sucked in? I'm um, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's, a, it's okay. We're through it now. I'm finally able... I'm yawning a little bit, but I'm able to stay up until 9 o'clock, and I'm still ready to watch some AEW. Hell yeah. Um, I got it on I'm, my phone over here. Yeah. I'm married. <laughs> I'm happy about it. My beautiful Everything boy. Everything is now looking forward. I'm here on the podcast. We're bringing back the Let's Play on Monday. Our good buddy Silent Dill is coming in. Hell yes. We're going to start cracking out some Halloween episodes. Hell yes. It is... Uh, Getting back to normal, and damn, I don't think I've ever been so thankful for shit to be normal. It's going to be a good time. Yeah. I'm ready to be recording. Today was great. It was a ton of fun. Yesterday was such an amazing day. It was so productive and fun uh, with me and now my wife. Um, You're going to be a wife guy now, straight up wife? Yeah, guy. man. I got my wife. It's going to be great. And that's my wife! You do like the... Like somebody just says anything about anything. Oh, I hate soap. My wife makes soap. Yeah. It's going to be you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's going to be me. Uh, but, man, I'm just really happy to, to be back. And it's good to see your face, man. I know I did get to see Aww. your face a couple times. You come boy. in on those Thursdays and see me. Yeah. Um, and we watch AEW together. But it's really nice to sit down and record. Stoked to record with other guys. Get some content back up on the, the channel and on the on the audio realms. Yeah, man. Um. I was really sad because we had this uh, this promotion that hit us with the email. They hit mm. us up on the email. And essentially, they're just there to kind of... It's legit. I looked into it. But they're there to kind of help us if we ever want to have guests. They'll find help us find guests or whatever. They'll make, you know, they'll make connections. It's essentially a connection-building website should you ever want to do something like that. Um, so I was like, cool, yeah, I'll sign us up for it. And it, we couldn't sign up for it because we hadn't posted an episode in 35 days. Whoops. Yeah. I'm like, no, but, God. but I mean, they are, the thing says, once you post an episode, you can get back on. You oh. can reapply. So Six that's cool. Suck. We fucked yeah. it. Yeah. It is what it is, but we back. We back, baby. It feels good. I'm trying to get big. Time. I'm watching me some cartoons. I got me a big ass TV. Yeah, man. Um, a big ass wedding TV. Uh, <laughs> Got Feels that good. big sound. Yeah, song. yeah. No longer sucking to suck, dude. We're living to live. Hell yeah. Feels good. It feels good. Feels good to be home. Feels good to be back. Yep. Well, you got anything else to say nah, about it? Nah, man. You wait. How you how you gonna do now that we're back, dude, this is ample time to if you want to redo those plugs somehow, you can do it. Or you can do it the old way, just like you always do. We going off the dome? You go off the dome if Feels you want like to. we're going off the dome. Well, that about does it for your good buddies. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you again. If you want to tell us how you feel about any of these things we discussed, the shows that we've been watching, uh, the AEWs, of yeah, course. Yeah, hit us up. We'll talk about that wrestling with you. Yes, we will. And, of course, uh, words bubble up like soda pop. Share us a haiku that you came up with Yeah. Uh, based on this program, <clears throat> if I may. Just going to go off the dome here. Rogers, a wife guy. Marital bliss. How lovely. Got that big ass TV. Nope, too many syllables. Got that big TV. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good. All right. But yes, uh, by all means, hit us up. There's a number of ways to do that. It's the easiest one, do that. The easiest one, of course, is to hit us up on the YouTube channel, Rapid Kick Media. Leave a comment while you're at it. Go ahead and like, subscribe, click that bell so we can send you notifications. We love to hear from you guys. And whenever we see you on there, we try to get at you. We'll uh, interact. We'll take your questions if Gonna you have get any. Get at you. 
Well, uh, give us some questions if you got them. We love to get questions on the air. It's been a while since we had some questions on been the a air. While. We'll throw them in the ramble. It's good old time. Uh, something to talk about. Uh, of course, you can also hit us up on any number of other places. The other one is the Discord. That's the one we're checking most often. We also do have the Twitter, TGB underscore Anime Pod, the Facebook group, the Dead and Zombified Tumblr. Uh, some of these we check less than others, but by all means, let us know. And of course, we'd appreciate any ratings, five stars on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, all the different podcasts, wherever you get your podcasts, wherever your podcasts are sold, even though we don't sell them, and even the spoofy. Uh, go ahead and Thumb up, like, oh, five we're, stars. We're on Amazon Podcast. We're on too. Amazon Podcast. Yep. Damn, boy, we out here with... What's Amazon got? We out here... I don't know. They hit me up this week. We out here with your, You want to put your podcast on Amazon? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, we, got, we, got the, we got Seth Rogen's alien character from Invincible going to roll through in a couple episodes. Yeah, I love anime. <laughs> That's, uh, there, there he goes. Okay. I'm going back to my home planet. Oh, bye, Seth Rogen. Uh, it's going to be a good old time. Um... And, of course, uh, all those links are in the description below. Thank you so much for checking us out. We love you so much. We do want to give a shout-out to our musicians for uh, the opening theme. That's uh, Roger's wife, Cat's Band, which no longer exists. But uh, that is Paper Doll from Married with Sea Monsters, a.k.a. the Mary Janes. You can find them on Spotify, but that track, as well as so many other Hot Fire tracks, are only available on marriedwithseamonsters.bandcamp.com. And, of course, our closing theme on the YouTube portion of the show, The Buddy's Good. That one's from Thomas Tastes Better, a.k.a. Haas. You can find him uh, at Thomas Tastes Better on Instagram and Dungeon Witch on YouTube. And finally, a shout-out to our good buddy, a petty theft. I had a lot built up. There we go. Yeah, you did. Got it out. Boy just blew his wad, his whole wad, <laughs> right into the microphone. Oh, hey, what's <laughs> happening on that AEW over there? You get real close. What's that was a pretty match? good match. Uh, looks like, oh, Pentagon Jr. almost got pinned by the Blade. Oh, it's well, uh, That's not going to happen. No, I don't think so. They have champs right now. Although, I mean, that sets up a feud if they do end up uh, getting a little screwed with it. He'll pull out the nucks again. Anyway, uh, shout out to our good buddy, Petty Theft. That is how it's pronounced. Two P's at the beginning, two T's at the end, Petty Theft. Thank you so much, Papetti Theft, for the use of our closing theme on the Ramble and the podcast, uh, which we are still calling Sweet Anime Dreams. You can find Papetti Theft at Twitter, uh, on Twitter and on SoundCloud at Papetti Theft. And that about does it. Do you got one to take us out on Big Yeah, one? man, of course I do. Of course you do. Uh, so thank you so much for listening. From all of us here at the Good Buddy Universe, I am your good buddy, Brandon. And I am your good buddy, Roger. Cherry, my boy! Cherry, my boy!